X's and O's. This is one of my favorite parts of the show. Absolutely. Audience participation. This, this is a community. We invite you to hit us up. And so we got something from our buddy Gerald in Norman, Oklahoma. Isn't that where uh, OU is? That's it. Barry Switzer, Brian Bosworth. Wow, you and Barry Switzer. OU time, right? Baker. That's right. You That's know, right. Lincoln Riley, although maybe he's Lincoln Riley is maybe like a four letter word now since, he, since yeah, he's, then he went to USC. But yeah, but so he's in your hood now. Shout, shout out to the to Sooner Nation here. So Gerald says, good afternoon. First time, a long time. Yeah. Sports radio talk. Right. Yep, yep. Right. Does anyone say that anymore? Yeah, you just did, Gerald. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm dating myself. No, you're not. You're good. Anyway, as an old fart. Come on, Gerald. Come on. You know, Bruce Lee said, never say anything negative about yourself. Did Bruce Lee said that? He said, never say anything negative because, I think he, because the body feels it. Oh. The body feels it. So you're not an old fart. You can just afford better things. Look at it that way, uh, Gerald. Okay. All right? Wow, All Jimmy, right? taking a break That's from it. reading Gerald's letter to get Gerald advice. Mm, what did I, I, like I learn? Be water, yeah. Gerald. Hey, Jerry, be water, buddy. Yep. Be water. Anyway, uh, he likes soft flame lighters. Maybe it's just nostalgia, but I'm not a fan of these triple torch jet flames. They seem to scorch my cigar every time I use them. Am I just being an old curmudgeon? No! You can just afford better things. You can just get the, the, the VIP, the, the two bottles at the club now gerald or is there is something to my observation any help on the subject would be greatly appreciated go get them boys yeah thank you gerald oh, wow. that was that's a great question it mm-hmm. is all right i see that i see the 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 scorching happening mm-hmm. all the time mm-hmm. and it guilty guilty for guilty. sure I, me too yeah i see it all the time and it drives me nuts like I, so i get it gerald i i like a soft flame too right but uh you obviously can't use a soft flame when you're outside. Gerald Gerald must smoke in his living room. Mm-hmm. You know, <laughs> it is palatial estate yes. in Norman, Oklahoma. <laughs> yeah, uh, so I lo- I love soft flames. One of my favorite lighters. If I'm going out to uh, a nice dinner, and an SD Dupont line two, I love those. Right, I love soft flames, but they're not practical as an as a person who smokes every day outside, inside, all over the place. Uh, now, in terms of scorching with a lighter. There's some things you can do to mitigate that, right? And that's number one is don't put that blue flame from the jet right up on the cigar, Mm -hmm. right? Like if, like that blue flame, I I forget the level that it burns at, but I think it's somewhere in the ballpark of like 1500 degrees, Mm -hmm. that blue flame. So you are cooking the crap out of that tobacco. And so that's too much. However, at that heat, you can keep the flame without touching the cigar right. and still light your cigar effectively. So so that's number one, to use a, a torch, which is the most practical way to light a cigar today, is just don't put that blue flame right up on it. Just back it off a little bit. And so people also have a problem. I see it all the time. You put the cigar, if you're watching us on YouTube, uh, if you're listening to this in your car, don't turn on YouTube, but when you get home, you can watch it. Uh, but I see people do that where they they have a hard time figuring out how far that flame is coming out. And can they, they can't kind of like get the spatial awareness down to see how far they have to put it. And so to mitigate that, just light it, like kind of torch the foot while you're looking at it from mm-hmm. the side instead of right at you, which which is where all the mistakes happen. So kind of torture from here. And then once you've got it sort of heated up, then you can get it a little closer and you don't have to get it right up on it. As, as you get closer and closer and closer, you'll see the flame start to come up. So, so I think there, those are some, some tips on how to not torch I'll your t- cigar. I'll tell you what I do. What, what I do is is I always hold it kind of, uh, I, I, what's the word, perpendicular? Mm-hmm. Not, not not parallel, not like not parallel, but I hold it perpendicular. So it's underneath the cigar. Yeah. And then what I do, once you light it, you can you can sort of maybe, maybe I don't know, maybe like an inch, two inches from the top of the lighter. And you, you, you light it and you can. No, it depends how high you have your flame set, though. And your lights without actually touching the flame. Yeah. And and it, it takes a little practice. It takes a little faith. 
more Bruce Lee stuff for it. It takes Ooh. a little faith, but once you do that, then you're good. I mean, did you, you know. just did you uh, did you do a, a Bruce Lee marathon this weekend? No, is listen, that what happened? Like I, I you would, just watched every Bruce Lee movie. I, I, th- I think what it was. Every time I go to Key West, I come back very like. Oh, I I, I see the Mile Zero Mile t-shirt. Zero T-shirt. I'm, I'm a big Key West guy, and and ah. it's, it's the hardest thing every time I go there to come back because I don't want to leave. I love the atmosphere. I love everything about it. Who doesn't? Exactly. So so I I always tend to to sort of disconnect when I go there and I reflect on everything. Mm, I look at the water. So you come back with a. I come back. <sighs> with, and then with a little red, and I look like Rudolph with a little red nose because I always forget to put sunscreen on. But, but no, I think I think if you do that, I think that's how you mitigate it. Yeah, because it's not like a cigarette where you put the flame right on the end of it. Yeah, again, I always hold it perpendicular so the flame shoots up, and then you maybe like an inch or two on top of that, and you'll get a nice. Oh, I, th- even I think that rubber. on a on a Connecticut shade wrapper, it's very easy to scorch it. Yeah, you know you can. You can do everything right and still, like you, a second ago, you, the flame just kicked up on yours. Right. Had that been a Connecticut shade it'd wrapped be, cigar, oh, yeah, it'd be black. It, that black front would and, look and, like charcoal. And I think that's sometimes with people, I mean, that's But that part, can happen, by the way, that can happen with soft flame too. Yeah, that's sometimes people, you know, when you have a, when you have a, 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 a light colored cigar and all of a sudden you, the end of it is black, you, you kind of look like, you know, oh my God, I'm embarrassed and you're kind of hiding the cigar for a little bit. Yeah. So you get past it. You yeah. got to gotta smoke through it. So I, I think the number one thing the like just across the board advice whether you're using soft flame or jet is to just be patient just take your time Mm. don't rush that if you easier said than done right not really though i mean it's fully in your control you're not when you're smoking a cigar you're not in a hurry this is your time yeah this is your time just enjoy it yeah take your time it's in your control you know Again, I mean, if you're lighting on the run uh, in an action sequence for a movie, I get it, <laughs> you know. But uh, but if you're sitting down at a lounge or at your house or in your patio or or on the golf course, just, just take your time and light it, you know. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, the scorching the scorching is a problem. But the number one thing is be patient, take your time, and then the other is just don't get that blue flame. Right, right up on that on that tobacco. Do you have anything to add, Ivan? <laughs> yeah, I haven't said. You guys are throwing. It I all know that's why. There. No, but that's fine. Uh, as far as uh, lighters go, they have lighters that offer both soft and jet. There are. Flames, yeah, you yeah, know? that's a good point. You know, so they are. You can purchase something if you want to use both of them, depending on the occasion. Because as as you said, I mean, it's it's not practical to be using soft flames outside. Uh, or only it's the very jets. difficult. I. I'm a bit of a caveman when it comes to most all things, and I just use whatever. <laughs> However, I hate soft flames. I, I'm like impatient. It's almost like you get used to like a certain inter- internet speed, and you want to get it that fast. That's a, that's a great comparison. And I, I need instant gratification. So I need like instant light on my cigar. So I'm not the patient lighter that you were got just it, describing. I need like... Okay, I need this thing on, and I need this smoke in my mouth, right? <laughs> okay. So I don't have the patience to be there with a, a soft flame lighter. Although I always carry one, just in case if my torch gives out on me, I know that soft flame is always going to light. So that's just me personally how I my, handle. You know, you don't, you don't. Know my little uh, sort of uh, quirk is, I love matches. I, I still, especially when I'm in a lounge, I collect matches from all the lounges that all I right, go to. Can I there. can I say something about matches? Mm-hmm. That also drives me nuts when people do it. So when you when you strike the match, that match head has all the sulfur, and so, yeah. yeah, all that. So that's what fires up. So when you're gonna use a match, strike it, let it burn through exactly the match head, and then light your cigar. Because otherwise, you're tasting all that crap, and it's uh, number one, not good for you. Yeah. Number two, it affects the flavor of the of the beginning of the cigar. So exactly, yeah, you beat me to the punch there. So, oh, sorry. So, so no, no, no. But that, but that, but that's important. So if you can get a lounge, or you can get one of the long matches, that's ideal for a cigar. Where you you strike it, you let it burn, you kind of tip it down, so so the so the flame starts going into the, the wood, wood yeah. of the match. And once you got the match, Sean Connery, <laughs> the match, I strike the match. When you get in that, then to me, I don't know. That to me is like quintessential elegance. You know, sitting there with a nice scotch or a rum. Yeah, that's for the ritual. And then you're like, for oh, the ritual of cigar smoking. Oh, when I hit that match and you have to hold it like that, that's like the AOL dial tone. <laughs> Bonk, 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 bonk. 
fuck. <laughs> I, you know, I, I've known you so long and I never realized that that was the problem is the impatience yeah, that you I have. Just, come on. You're, go. you're a millennial smoker. Yeah. Yeah. You're a millennial lighter. I've, I don't I, think about it at all. I'm like, come on, let's let's do this. He's the person that I have smoked the most cigars with on this planet. <laughs> and I've seen, and I'm always like, bro, come on. And I didn't realize it was the impatience. There's so many things. Like for, if I have to relight something with a little bit of an ash, so I, I knock off the ash. Sure. But I'm not delicate about it. I'm like, he goes to town. I, on I, it. I, he I starts go, cursing and swearing at it. You're like, whack it. Dude, is that a baton? Like, and you? then I, like, I just want to get all of it off before I light it. Sure. And he's like, <laughs> Dios mío, caballero. Get easy with that thing. <laughs> he does. He, he nails it against the side of the ashtray. Ping, ping, ping. Like, oh my God. <laughs> I didn't realize it was the impatience, but hey. Yeah. Anywho. Be nice. So anyway, I, I hope we've helped Gerald, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. And, and and you will be rewarded for your inquiry, Gerald. What happens? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gerald, you're going to get, you're going to receive a cigar snob swag pack. Probably a t-shirt, maybe a pair of sunglasses with the Hip-hop. Cigar Snob logo, Look a lighter. Uh, so yeah, anyone who sends in a message, send them to questions at cigarsnobmag.com. And if we read your question on the air, we will send you a Cigar Snob swag pack. Also, if you like swag packs and free th- stuff. Like crazy good stuff. Yeah, we got the, we got Win <laughs> crazy Stuff Live good stuff. every Friday on all of our social media platforms. Win Stuff Live. That's it. All you have to do is answer a question that we give you hints for, and the winner gets a massive prize, usually somewhere between what does he get, 200 Jim? and... Two thousand dollar prize. Yeah, I mean, you guys, we, you, we, we've given away trips. Yep, we've given away like crazy humidors. I mean, like, like, like crazy meaning like, like upscale, high end. Like people walk in, hey, heavy duty, heavy. So Gerald, let's go, buddy. You know, I know, I know, out in, you, you, I know you're the, you know, he's he's the, you know, he's the Gatsby of uh, of, uh, of of Norman, Oklahoma. Sure. Oh, it's Gerald's party today. Let's go. Let's get let's get, let's get out there. Oh, well, Sean Connery's gonna be there. Uh, <laughs> clearly, I am the last one. So. Gerald, thanks, buddy, for the for the note, and keep them lit, pal. Thanks for watching Cigar Snob on YouTube. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy what you saw. Also, head over to our YouTube channel to check out more exciting content. And also head over to CigarSnob.com, where you can subscribe to our print magazine and receive it at home six times a year.